All right guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna talk about some of the items that you might need. I actually have with me today one of these fillet away mats, okay? So this is a rubber mat. It's, it helps the fish not slip. If you don't have one of these, you can always lay down a cloth or a paper towel. Just lay underneath your trout or your fish and that way it doesn't slide around, okay? The next thing you're gonna need for filleting a trout is of course a fillet knife. Now, I have a lot of different types of fillet knives. I have long fillet knives, short fillet knives, and for this particular uh, species, um, since we're filleting trout today, we're gonna go with a shorter fillet knife. This one's about five inches long. Um, we're also gonna be using today a fork, which we'll get into a little bit later. So here are some of the things that you're gonna need in order to fillet a trout successfully. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the guts of the fish. So that actually means that we need to start our cut over by the anal cavity and we're gonna work our way up to the throat, okay? Um, so just very slowly, you don't have to go fast here. You're just gonna make a cut. You're gonna work your way up the fish underneath here. And you're just gonna slowly work your way up until you get to the throat or the gill area. The next thing I'm gonna do is make a little cut here where the guts are. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove out all of the guts. Everything should come out pretty smooth. There we go. All right guys, so the next step is I'm actually gonna make an incision or a cut right behind the gill plate. And I'm just gonna cut right down until I hit the spinal cord, okay? And there should just be a loose uh, flap of skin right here. And as soon as I hit that spinal cord or the spine, I'm gonna turn my blade and I'm gonna start running that blade down the fish's spine and you're gonna hear some pops from the ribs. That's completely normal and you're gonna keep going all the way until you get down to the, uh, the tail. Cutting through the tail and voila, we're gonna have our first nice big filet right here. All right guys, so we have one filet done. We're gonna set him up here and then we're gonna flip the fish over and we're gonna do the same cut on the other side, right? The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and approach the ribs. And this is where having a fork really comes in handy, okay guys? Because what I wanna do is make sure that nothing slips as I start to cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drive this fork in right here. Actually get a little bit closer to the ribs itself. And I'm gonna do a little light cut here, right underneath the rib cage. So after you've cut through all of that, you're just gonna remove the ribs. And uh, now we have a nice clean filet, but we're not done yet, okay? Because there's still one more piece of this filet that we need to remove in order to have no bones, okay? So this next section is what we call the pin bones, okay? And if you run your knife down the top portion of this filet where it's nice and meaty and thick, you can actually feel some little bones, okay? Now these bones don't actually go all the way to the skin, they kind of hang out right here and then go halfway into the meat. So what we want to do is we want to do a zipper cut and we want to cut out these pin bones. So how do we do that? Well, we start on one side of the pin bone and I, you can just run your hand, figure out exactly where it stops. It stops right here. I'm going to run my pin bone where I angle in the knife at an angle pointing downward. And you'll see why here in just a second. And I'm just going to slowly run my knife up this pin bone Want to make sure I stay on the right side of it, so I just fill up the meat as I go. And I'm cutting just a nice angle. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come right back now. I've made one cut, and I'm gonna come right back to the top, get on the other side of the pen bone, and I'm gonna make another cut angled in as well. All right, guys, so it's called a zipper cut because once you've cut both sides and you've angled it, look how it just kind of zippers right out. You see that? So. Um, now we're gonna pull the rest of this out. The pin bone ends right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a cut. And now we have a legitimate boneless trout filet. Okay guys? So the next step is to repeat on the other one and then we're ready to get into the kitchen. All right guys, so I'm all done filleting the trout. The next step is to get it on ice, which I've just done. And now we're gonna properly go ahead and put the lid on store this away until it's time to go ahead and begin the cooking process.